Sorry for leaving my side way. Hello everybody, my name is you, and welcome back to Let's Play Nintendo Land. In the previous episode, we conquered the last of the team attractions in the game, The Legend of Zelda Battle Quest. In today's episode, we will be starting off the first of the competitive attractions, Animal Crossing Sweet Day. The objective of this game depends on who you're playing as. If you're playing on the Wii Remote, uh, then your objective is uh, to eat 30 candies all together. You'll be playing with uh, the different animals. There's going to be some candies scattered across the area, and there's also some buttons that you press near the trees. Um, the more buttons that you activate at the same time with the most animals, the more fruit will fall out of the trees uh, for you to go grab. If you're playing on the gamepad, however, as you can see on the bottom left corner of the screen, you'll be playing as the gatekeepers instead, and their job is to catch the animals. So, this is kind of a nice little twist on cops and robbers. I'm not entirely sure if that's the best uh, comparison, but it's the only one I can think of off the top of my head. But this is honestly one of my favorite attractions in Nintendo Land. It's so much fun, and it can get so chaotic when you're playing with multiple people. It's just so great. And something pretty well worth mentioning is that uh, d um, the different uh, player Wii remotes um, will be controlling different animals. Um, player 1 will be the elephant, player 2 will be a squirrel, I think player 3 will be a frog, and I think player 4 is a monkey. I might be wrong about that, I'm going to double check that in editing while my voice cracks and there will be a, grown a caption on the corner of the screen here. And we've completed our first game. Now, if you're looking at the time for this video, then the reason why this video is so short is because we only did two games uh, in, during this video. The reason for that is because uh, we'd recorded more, but my camera died uh, when we were recording the rest of them, uh, so we were only able to get gamepad footage for, t for only a few of them. Um, I say two, but I think we actually ended up doing three of them, but I don't know off the top of my head. But anyway, I do know off the top of my head because I have notes with me are the stamp requirements. So there are five stamps, just like everything else in this game. There's a double takedown, which happens if you catch two animals at the same time. Serve and protect times ten. Uh, win ten times as the, as the gatekeepers. Sneaky snatcher, win without getting caught once. So much candy. You win with a full head of candy. And a tackle takedown, will, um, you'll earn uh, by performing a tackle. So that's something that's pretty neat. And something that I absolutely love about this game is... Uh, um, you can see my character right now is kind of being a little bit goofy. I remember when we were recording this, I was like, Hey, so it's over here! Hey, come over here! Check it out! The animal's over here! Or something like that. So, it's really great. I really wish that we could have done live commentary during this, and... As you can see, my mother is controlling the gamepad, is kind of like moving the screen as if it's dancing, which is kind of adorable. Uh, so I really wish we were able to do live commentary with this one, but there was some background noise at the time, and I just kind of wanted to get the video recorded. And this right here, this is uh, what the game's going to be like when you only have two players. One on the TV and one on the gamepad, so the rules are going to be a little bit different this time around. The TV player will have to take the candies over to specific spots rather than holding on to them. So they are going to be carrying less of fruit around, but they're also the only target, which means it's going to be easier for the gatekeepers to go get them. So, how you control this game is that you use the D-pad on the Wii Remote to move the animal. The 2 and 1 buttons will eat and drop candy. And we're playing on the gamepad, um, the shoulder buttons will tackle, and the thumbsticks are used to control the individual gatekeepers. Um, it may be a little bit difficult to control both of the gatekeepers on your own, so if you're having trouble with that, then something you can do is have another person controlling the other thumbstick, so that's something that you can use to your advantage. I think one of the Nintendo Land hints actually um, hints at this as well, so... If you're having trouble controlling multiple gatekeepers, then... Yeah, you have some extra advice now. Whee! Now, I would go into detail about how I'm editing this screen right now, because the process is pretty interesting. But I don't think we're gonna have enough time uh, this, for this video. I'll summarize it the best I can, but basically I used my camera to record the gamepad because gamepad capture cards are super expensive. And uh, I discovered a trick on OBS uh, to have multiple videos playing on that, so... Uh, thanks to the magical abilities of OBS, I was able to have the TV and the gamepad screen going on at the same time. And that's pretty exciting, because I was originally going to have the James Rose edit this for me, and now he doesn't have to do it anymore. Anymore. 
But that was Animal Crossing Sweet Day, so thank you all so much for watching this episode of Nintendo Land. Next time, we'll be taking care of Luigi's Ghost Mansion. And next time, we'll gear to you. Oh yeah. I was waiting on.